So we've talked already about the plugin architecture of OCalc Pro. Um, what you may not be aware of is that OCalc Pro ships with a number of plugins already pre-written that you can add to your system to do a lot of interesting tasks. So we're going to look at one of those right now. It's the Google Earth integration plugin. So go into Options, Miscellaneous Options, Manage My Plugins, and you'll see that there's a plugin that ships right with OCalc called Show on Google Earth. We're going to turn that on. It's going to say, do you want to restart OCalc? So it'll hook that plugin up for you. And it thinks about it for a second. And then we're good to go. And if we look under File, we'll see that, in fact, this Show on Google Earth plugin is now part of the file menu. And let's do the first step. Um, there are several things we can do with this, but let's look at one of them. The first is to actually create a KML file of a whole directory of um, PPLX files and allow you to select them and visualize them on Google Earth. So we go to Batch Create Index, and we point at the folder, and I happen to know that in my temp folder, I happen to have a, a whole bunch of PPLX files that I use for such things. So here's my PPLX file subbreak, and I say, go ahead and do it. And after it chunks through, if I pull up my Google Earth, I will in fact see that the entire um, folders worth of structures have in fact been loaded into Google Earth, and I can look at them all. And I can even go ahead and say, I want to pick this guy, and I want to see it in OCalc Pro. And so it'll automatically um, go ahead and fire up OCalc Pro and show me that poll. And just as easy in that, I can walk I can walk right down the line. So, you know, for example, here's the next one. Show that one on OCalc, and there it is. And so I'm able to walk down the line and see them all. And I can even say, well, I'm here, I'm looking at this guy, and this is actually kind of an easy-to-identify one because it's got this sidewalk guy on it. So let's go back to Google Earth and go ahead and drive right into street view mode. And if we go in far enough, oh, I don't have street view data here, figures. Let's see if we can get a good look at the poll. Yeah, I can't quite see it. So we can't see that that is, in fact, the same poll. But in areas where there is, in fact, Street View data, you can um, do a lot of very interesting things like that. Now let's take a look at the next uh, tool that's built into this same plugin. So we've talked in the past about how plugins can have multiple functionalities. Um, let's take a look and actually render the poll, render the 3D model of a poll right on Google Earth. So. Here I have the poll loaded up, and of course, this only works for polls where I actually have a geolocation. Um, so you want to make sure that your poll coordinates are in fact set um, correctly. But that being done, uh, it understands the units that this are built in, that this is built in, and it goes ahead and renders a uh, 3D accurate model of however you modeled this uh, based on the structure. So we'll go to File, Show on Google Earth, Render Structure. We then go look at Google Earth, and it'll go ahead, and there she is, just like that. And you can see there the structure is modeled in 3D. And if I go into street view mode, we can actually see that, interestingly enough, the pole was modeled uh, as having cross arms, but in fact it's got alley arms. And so this is sort of a good way to know um, that maybe a mistake was made and I need to to uh, modify the modeling of this structure. In fact, I think this is also not modeled with the street light when in fact the, uh, yeah, it didn't didn't get a street light when in fact the actual one didn't. In fact, the length and class looks wrong too. Yeah, well, not a very good job on the part of the guy, uh, person who modeled it in the first place, but we'll go ahead and fix that. So just accidentally, we've seen how valuable this tool can actually be. Um, so I think we've got a good, a good idea of how valuable plugins can be. And this plugin could have been written to work with a different GIS system instead of Google Earth. It could be, you know, some sort of Esri system or whatever. Um, so plugins really allow you to extend the functionality of OCalc, and a number of them are shipped with the system. So I think it's uh, worth looking into them. Thank you.